Hey guys, it's Tina, and I'm doing the 20 question book tag. I was tagged by OG Garbage T. I will link his channel below. Go check him out. He is hilarious. He has like subtitles that go all around his videos while he's talking and like the books have their own personalities while he's talking. It's, he's funny. Go and check them out. How many books are too many for a series? That's not a thing. As long as they're good, as long as the series is good, there is no amount of books that are too many. I have read the Dark Hunter series, which I think is up to like 27, 25 books. And I think I'm up to like 22, 23, I can't remember. And I still continue reading it. Although I have read a series that I don't believe some of the books should have been like books. I believe that some of the books are valid content and then some of it's just filler. As long as it doesn't feel like it's a filler book and it actually moves the storyline ahead and as long as it's decent or good or interesting, there's, there's no such thing as too many books. Number two, how do you feel about cliffhangers? It depends. Cliffhangers in chapters are fine. Cliffhangers in books that I can read the next book right away are fine, but cliffhangers in books that the next book has not been written yet, I do not like. Although there are some cliffhangers that I I can handle. If the story has concluded and the cliffhanger adds to the intrigue to get to the next book, I, I can deal with that. If the story doesn't feel like it's concluded and it's just like cliffhanger and that's the conclusion, that I cannot get on board with. I feel like every story should have a end. It doesn't need to be a pretty wrapped up where everything's concluded, but it needs to feel like the the main plot of the main book is at least done. Number three, hardback or paperback? Paperback. And that is for a few reasons. One, I feel they're more durable. Two, they're cheaper and I'm a huge klutz. So I may have ruined a paperback in my life a time or two. Number three, I have tiny hands. It's easier to read with a paperback with my hands. It's more comfortable. And most paperbacks you can like stick in a small bag or a purse or something like that. So paperback. Number four, favorite book. Why is this even a question? Like, do people actually answer a favorite book? With that, I would have to say there's there's many favorite books for many different reasons. I have The Never Ending Story is a favorite book. Princess Bride is a favorite book. Where the Wild Things Are is a favorite book. The Hobbit is a favorite book. Chronicles of Narnia is a favorite book. The Outsiders is a favorite book. All of those are my favorite book for various different reasons. Most of them have to do with my childhood and nostalgia and people who have either given them to me, um, introduced me to them, who or what was going on while in that time of my life while I was reading them. So there's not just one favorite book. I hope that answers your question. Least favorite book. How I'm going to answer this question is based on the words that are used. It says least favorite book. I'm taking that as I can like the book, but it's just my least favorite. Doesn't mean I didn't like the book. It just means I like the book least. Yeah. The book I'm going to choose for that is The Well of Ascension. I liked the book I absolutely hated the ending and I have a video explaining all of this to you guys. I will put it in the cards and link it down below if you so want to watch it. Love triangles, yes or no? No. There's not a love triangle that I enjoyed reading. There is not a love triangle that I thought was a valid part of the story. I feel that love triangles are unnecessary drama and filler material. The most recent book you couldn't finish. This book is The Rightful Queen. This is the second book in a series. I read the first book in the series. I didn't super enjoy the first book in series. I read the book, second book in the series because I got it as an arc and I wanted to 
see a few storylines concluded. The problem and the reason why I DNF this book is because of the pacing. They had intense battle scenes that I was really interested in, but the parts that I read, the battle scenes were only in like two chapters and they were completely spread apart. It was hard for me to get into it because every time I would get into a storyline, they would switch POVs and it felt like it just hit a brick wall with this book. And then we would spend a really long time on a storyline where I really didn't care about the character at all. And all I wanted to do is get back to the storyline that I was reading before where they had this really intense war and battle scene, but she wasn't going back there. I read the first third of the book reading it. I skimmed the until a half of the book. And as I was skimming, I still didn't really miss anything while I wasn't reading all of the words. I couldn't handle the pacing of that book. It was just too far between the intense battle scenes that I really wanted to see what was happening. A book that you're currently reading. It's not really a question, is it? I am currently reading The Way of Kings. So far, I'm enjoying this book. I just finished part two. I'm to the point where really cool friendships are forming. Some very important decisions are being thought about and possibly made. The characters are getting interesting and I'm getting pretty attached to them. So it's a, it's a good part. And so yeah, The Way of Kings. The last book you recommended somebody. Mm, I have no idea. I can't remember what I did yesterday. I the last book I re recommended to somebody. The oldest book you've read by publication date. Do people actually know this stuff? The Outsiders is... 1967. Awards of Diversity says... 1968. Chronicles of Narnia says... 1954. The Hobbit says... 1937. So I believe The Hobbit is the oldest book that I've read by publication date. Newest book you've read by publication date. The newest book I've read by publication date is... Is Fable. I got an arc from NetGalley for Fable and it was released on September 1st of this year. So that is the newest book by publication date. Buying books or borrowing books? Yes. Although I kind of like buying books a little bit more just because I'm afraid when I borrow books that I will ruin them. I have two children, two dogs, and I'm a klutz. So ruining a book is very possible. So when I do borrow a book, I like covet it and basically put it in plastic wrap. So I don't ruin it. A book you dislike that everyone else seems to love. I would have to say The Well of Ascension. Like I said before, I hated the ending. I l liked the book, but I really could not get on board with the ending that it gave me. Bookmark or dog ears? Bookmark. I feel that when you dog ear a book, the page screams with pain. So yes, bookmark. A book you can always reread. A book I can always reread is probably The Outsiders. I've read that book probably the most out of all the books that I've had and reread. So yeah, The Outsiders. I could always read that one over and over and over again. Can you listen to music while reading? Nope. I cannot listen to music while reading. I don't need to have it completely silent, but I do need to have it somewhat quiet. My kids can be talking, they can be doing stuff. It can't be overly loud and rambunctious. That's why sometimes I do listen to the audiobook as well as read at the same time. If it's just too loud, that's distracting. One POV or multiple, it doesn't matter. The only thing that I don't like about multiple POVs is if they spend too much time in a POV that I don't like reading from. Other than that, if it's a good story, it's a good story. It's a good, if it's a good character, it's a good character. I like reading from it. Do you read a book in one sitting or in multiple days? I used to read books in one sitting depending on how long it was. I have read a two to three hundred page book in one setting before, but since I have had kids and stupid adult responsibilities, I don't have the time to sit there and read a book in one sitting because I can't read that fast. And number 20, who are you going to tag? I'm going to tag books and yada yada, literature Lila and Kristen over at Red Read Wine. That's it. That's all. So like, subscribe. Click all the things down below. 
Let me know if you have the same answers as I do or if you have different answers. Okay, bye. Foot's asleep. Ugh.